What would you ask for if you found a genie's bottle? Everyone is familiar with the story of the genie, primarily through Disney's Aladdin movies. By the way, Robin Williams' version of the genie is unmatchable, so don't even try to compare it to any other version. In most versions of the genie's story, it has almost unlimited power and is obligated to grant three wishes to the person who controls it. However, they seldom turn out as hoped because the genie is not a nice being. Modern cartoon and cartoonish versions have softened the story to market it to the parents of young children. An older version describes the genie as a demon imprisoned by Solomon. Yes, King Solomon of the Bible. In that version, the genie is powerful but cruel, very cruel. Old or new, Every version is really a story about human greed because most people immediately ask for riches. One of the best stories from the Bible is the one that shows how Solomon did not give in to greed and ask for riches when he had the opportunity. Early in his reign, before the temple was built, Solomon went to worship God in Gibeon. While there, God appeared to him in a dream and offered him anything he wanted. Ask what you wish me to give you, 1 Kings 3, verses 4 and 5, and 2 Chronicles 1, verses 3 through 7. What an opportunity to be granted a wish, not by some phony genie in a bottle, but from the creator of all mankind, Acts 17, verses 24 and 25. Well, if he didn't ask for riches, what did he request? After recognizing the greatness of God and remembering his generosity to his father David, and now to him, Solomon made this statement, I am but a little child who doesn't know what to do with such a great nation like God's people, the nation of Israel. Knowing his own limitations, Solomon asked for wisdom to properly judge his king. So give your servant an understanding heart to judge your people to discern between good and evil. The request pleased God so much that he granted Solomon wealth and health to go with the wisdom he so wisely requested. 1 Kings 3 verses 6 through 13 and 2 Chronicles 1 verses 8 through 12. If we live for the things of this world, then no genie can give us enough wealth to make us happy. It will never turn out like we hoped because this world is a broken bottle. Only God can give us the true riches that will satisfy our soul's longing. So let me rephrase our opening question. Are you wishing for the riches of this world or asking God for eternal riches found only with him in heaven? Thank you for watching Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until next time, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.